Hi everyone, I'm Davy, and today I am going to be organizing and decluttering my kitchen pantry. So stay tuned to see how I reorganize and declutter. also in collaboration with Lindsay at Mama Schmooze Reviews. Her channel is in the description box and definitely go check her out and say hello from Davy. Also, if you're new coming from her channel, welcome. I'm so glad you are here to organize with me. Um, I am going to tackle a kind of tricky cupboard in my kitchen. I am going to figure out a way to organize and declutter that so that I feel good about opening my cupboard doors and actually finding what I need. Because right now, I really don't. It's just kind of ugh, messy. Um, let's get started with that and you don't have to worry about me chatting anymore. All right, so the first thing I do is always take everything out. If you saw my other kitchen Tupperware storage and decluttering video, you saw I took everything out and wiped it down. That's just a good way to have a clean slate so you can kind of visualize what you want. And as you can see, I have a lot of big things in there and things I don't use as often as I would like. So I just am taking everything out and gonna see it from a clean slate. Here it is all cleaned out before I wipe it out. I am just using a Grove collaborative cleaner and a wet cloth to wipe down my cupboard. Here is everything I pulled out of the two cupboards. Um, I just had a lot of stuff in there as you can see. It was kind of a mix of pantry slash cookbook slash um, my bigger kitchen items that I need. And so there's things that I will be getting rid of or some things I'll take downstairs and store them in a different place. My Lavelle um, Thrive for women's packet. I haven't used that in over a year. So like something like that. I will keep in the basement as well, as long as it is still good. So. where I need to just get rid of a few things like tablecloths. I'm going to take some of those to school and keep one here. Um, just taking things out of the bags I order them from or reorganizing my um, recipes like that that I have in my binder. Just putting things back where they belong. That's really key to having a more organized and decluttered space as well. So that's kind of what I'm doing with all of this stuff and getting rid of some old cookbooks that I no longer use or know I will never use. As you just saw me doing and doing here as well, I am using some name tags or using them as labels to organize my boxes. And these boxes, my husband had down in the basement that stored old hats and I just really liked how they looked. So I thought, free storage, yeah. all completed I love how the hat boxes look so sleek and organized and they're unique and then I have my napkins and paper towels and then I did leave all my kombucha stuff up here um, just the glass bottles there my cookbooks and then I did have some almond milk I just put in a container I had around the house and then I rearranged and put all my bigger food items in the bottom, um, food cooking items I should say, and just my lunch boxes in that other container and everything I found around the house. So it was totally free storage. Hope you felt 
motivated by watching me declutter and organize so that you can declutter and organize a space in your home as well. Again, thanks for watching and go check out Lindsay's channel as well. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.